Australian YouTube channel How Ridiculous, who were formed back in 2009, have found fame pulling off some insane stunts. The group, which consists of Brett Stanford, Derek Hernan, and Scott Gownson, currently has 10 million subscribers as of this month, April 2022, and some of their work has also featured in the Guinness Book of World Records. Today, we're discussing some of How Ridiculous' stunts that went way too far. So, stay where you are. First up, it's that crazy basketball shot. Sometimes, people come up with ideas that are so far out there that they cannot possibly work. And when one of the guys from How Ridiculous suggested they travel to the UK and launch a basketball into a hoop off of the Orbit Tower in Olympic Park, where most people would have ridiculed the suggestion, the other two guys were more than up for it. The Aussie YouTubers, who were performing in the UK for the very first time, pulled off one of the wildest shots you will ever see, and if doing it once from the front wasn't enough, they decided to attempt the shot backwards too, which they managed to pull off, of course. However, it wasn't as if the stunt was done in the first shot, as the numerous amounts of basketballs lying on the ground in the shot will attest to. There are a ton of them. The video is absolutely spectacular and is proof that a stunt that most people would suggest was going too far for the perfect content is perfectly attainable. What did you guys make of this insane shot? Let us know below. Next up is another basketball shot with a twist. The guys traveled to Europe in September of 2016 with world records on their collective mind. The group, who surprisingly met at church, achieved their goal by launching a basketball off of a dam a whopping 593 feet. Of course, the crew started by filming trick shots with a basketball, so their world record attempts were probably always going to be something basketball related. But the shot had no chance of landing, right? Well, not quite. The group did, in fact, achieve their goal of landing a basketball through a hoop placed below from the highest point ever recorded. And the craziest thing about it? They pulled it off with only the third shot. That's an accuracy percentage of 33.3%. And to put things into context, the season before the guys attempted the shot, Detroit Pistons center Andre Drummond shot 35.5% from the foul line. Another Another example of people suggesting the guys had gone way too far in search of a world record that they actually pulled off, which suggests if you want to try something, just do it. What's the craziest shot you guys have ever witnessed? We're talking their love of destruction now. If you've seen any of their videos, you will probably have noticed how they love to throw things from great heights. From the group's regular vantage point, a tower in Western Australia, which is usually used for astronomical observations, they have been known to drop all sorts of things and record how they impact objects below. But some people suggested the group had gone a little too far when they used a sleek-looking car in one of their stunts. We don't know where they acquired the car from, which looks like a sedan-style BMW, but they proceeded to drop all sorts of things onto it, from spear-type objects to watermelons. This drew criticism from poorer people who questioned why they would wreck such a lovely car, one which they had already vandalized by spray-painting the group's name onto. Another pretty dangerous stunt saw them dropping a bowling ball onto a trampoline from the tower, which could have easily gone badly wrong. The site where they create the massive drops is actually publicly owned but the guys are allowed to perform their stunts there as long as they agree to tidy up the site completely once they're done. Next up, it's more trampoline stunts, so stay tuned. The guys from How Ridiculous have been known for their love of trampolines in the past and pushing them to their absolute limits. They acquired the world's strongest trampoline and, of course, wanted to test exactly how strong it was. Could it stand up to some incredibly heavy objects? The guys were going to find out one way or another. Another example of them going a little bit too far, they decided to drop a vending machine. Yes, you heard us, from their their favorite tower in Western Australia with the world's strongest trampoline awaiting for it at the foot of the tower. The guys drop the vending machine from a massive 45 meters, hoping it will bounce and it does not disappoint. The trampoline stands firm and the guys have successfully, if unnecessarily, dropped a vending machine from a mammoth height, but they weren't finished there. Obsessed with the idea of pushing the trampoline to its limits, the crew turned to their next big objects a boat, and even a small airplane. However, not to be beaten, their sturdy trampoline holds firm and proves that it has in fact been marketed correctly as the world's strongest trampoline. Of course, the videos were not without criticism, and some people suggested that the guys had gone a little too far, as dropping super heavy objects from crazy heights is definitely not the brightest idea. Somebody on the ground could easily have been killed, and they're quite lucky when looking back. What did you guys make of this? So, is it all worth it? In a word, yes. The lads, who, as we mentioned, met in church as youngsters, are still rooted in Christ and have used their channel to donate to worthy causes and even sponsor various children living in poverty around the globe. Whilst some of their stunts can sometimes cross the line and come across as brash and arrogant, there is a higher purpose in all that they do, and that they were just doing these tricks for little more than YouTube clicks, like some other prominent groups out there, they might have come in for a little more criticism. But since they are putting their relative fame, and more importantly wealth, to good use, there is a solid argument that as long as they're not hurting people, it's okay to cross the line now and then. What do you guys make of the fellows from How Ridiculous? 
too much or just a bit of fun? Let us know your thoughts below. Another trick shot dividing opinion now, so stick around. Right now, Anaheim Ducks rookie Trevor Zegris is dividing opinion. Some say he's the next big thing, whilst others see him as nothing more than a flashy kid lacking respect. And the root of the divisiveness is all down to a particular type of shot that he has in his arsenal. Rarely seen before in the NHL, the shot involves actually catching the puck on his blade before flinging it goalwards. Perfectly legal, it was first brought to the attention of hockey fans in the 90s when Michigan College team added it to their attack. But Zegras has since perfected it and has used the insane trick shot on no fewer than three occasions, which led directly to goals this term. However, some hockey purists have claimed that the youngster is ruining the game. Echoing older golf pros who have a problem with Bryson DeChambeau's big hitting style, dinosaurs within the NHL have suggested it is the reason why Zegras appears to be taking more hits on the ice than usual. Smacks of jealousy, to be fair. And the youngster's dad, Gary, said, we're at a moment in time where the game is evolving a little bit, and Trevor seems to be on the front line with it. The first time it worked was in an NHL game, which is hysterical. The game has long looked for ways to appeal to younger fans, and now that they have it, they seemingly don't want it. What do you make of Trevor's style? And finally, a chihuahua has made the Guinness World Records this week, so stick around. As lovers of anything dog-related over here, we're delighted to learn this week that the Guinness Book of World Records has crowned its oldest living dog this week. The doggo, named Toby Keith, hails from Green Acres, Florida, and is a grand total of 21 years and 66 days old, which is about a million in dog years. The oldest dog alive, and we've no idea how they've survived that, by the way, Toby Keith, is a year past his average lifespan, as the pint-sized pets are generally thought to live from between 12 to 20 years. And his owner, Gisela Shore, said, I was a volunteer at Peggy Adams Animal Rescue, and one of the employees told me about an elderly couple trying to surrender a puppy because they could not take care of him any longer. I met with the elderly couple, and I was introduced to a tiny tan chihuahua. They had named him Peanut Butter. I later changed his name to Toby Keith. Toby Keith lives with two other doggies, plus two parrots, which will make him feel like the king in his castle. Good for you, Toby Keith. Do you have a pet? Tell us about him or her below. And as always, thanks for stopping by today, and remember to join us next time for some more fun and games. Also, why not do us a solid by liking today's video, as well as sharing it with any trick shot enthusiast that you might know of. Bye, guys.